bar magnet as an equivalent solenoid. Okay. So here we shall see how this solenoid carrying current behave like a bar magnet. Okay. Okay, look at this uh, figure. Suppose this is my solenoid. And the, let's say the current is passing through the solenoid in this direction. Okay. So this is the directions of motions of current. All right. Now, because this solenoid, it is actually, you know, the two ends of the solenoids, you know, they behave like North Pole and south pole of a bar magnet so how do we understand about that so i mean which face of the solenoid will be like a north pole and which face of the solenoid will be a south pole okay so to understand about the north pole and south pole of a current carrying solenoid so we will just remember this uh, you know this uh, let me say this is an idea okay a simple idea to understand about the north pole and south pole of a carrying of a current carrying solenoid so if the current in the coil i mean in the solenoid let's say it is passing in this direction which mean in clockwise direction so suppose this is a coil so if the current is passing in this way right then this face of the coil will behave like a north pole and the right the face at the other end of the coil Okay, this will behave like what? If the current is passing in this way, this will this face will behave like a south pole, and the face at the other end of the coil will behave like a north pole. So for that, right, I have shown you this uh, idea about how to know which face of the coil is north pole and which face of the coil is south uh, is south pole. So if the current in the coil, let's say, right, starting from this end, let's say it is passing in clockwise direction. Now, right, I put two arrow here and here, which mean clockwise direction. So this arrow, it is pointing down. Now this arrow also is pointing down. This is pointing up. This one also is pointing up. So if you join this, right, you'll get like S shape. So S stands for South Pole. So when a current right in the coil is passing in the clockwise direction, then that face of the coil, right, the starting face of the coil, behave like a south pole. So similarly, if the current in the coil, right, suppose this is a coil, and the current, let's say, is passing in this way. So if the current is passing in the coil in anti-clockwise direction, then the face of the coil will behave like a north pole. So for that, I have shown it here, right? This is up, this arrow is up, this also up. This is down, this is down, which means this is a north pole. Okay, all right. So please remember that whenever a current is passing through a coil or through a solenoid, then the solenoid always behave like a bar magnet. Because in a bar magnet, we have two poles. One is a north pole, another is a south pole. Okay, now, because of this, uh, you know, uh, behavior that this solenoid carrying current shows the same properties of magnet, of a bar magnet, so now we shall see what are the properties of a magnet, okay? So the first property of a magnet is that when this bar magnet is freely suspended, then this bar magnet will point in the north south direction of the of the geographical earth okay that means it will point in the north south directions of the earth so similarly because this solenoid behave like a bar magnet so when you suspend this solenoid freely then this solenoid will point in the north south direction just like a bar magnet did all right okay now the second similarity is that if you have two bar magnets 
Okay, let's say this is south, this is north. And I have got another bar magnet in which I place the north poles of the two magnets, right, facing against each other. So in this case, what will happen? The two magnets will repel. But if I place the magnet, the two magnets in this way, in which the north pole and the south pole are facing against each other, then you will find the two magnets attract each other. So similarly, if you have two solenoid carrying current, all right, then these uh, two solenoids which carry current, right, they will exhibit a mutual attraction or repulsion when brought closer to one another. So this shows that their end faces, right, they act like north pole and south pole. Okay. And another similarity is in a bar magnet, we have seen that the magnetic field lines, right, always starts from the north pole and end to the south pole outside the magnet. And inside the magnet, this magnetic line is going from south to north so as to form a closed loop. Okay, so similarly, when this is a solenoid carrying a current, then the magnetic field, let's say, right, if the current is passing in this direction, then this phase, right, in anti clock, sorry, in clockwise direction, that means this phase will behave like a south pole and this phase will be a north pole. So if this is south and this is north, so magnetic field lines, right, will be generated in this way. That means it starts from north, it comes to south, outside the bar, outside the solenoid, and inside they will go from south to north. And right in this way, they will form a closed curve. Okay, so these are the three uh, points, right, of similarities between a bar magnet and, uh, you know, and a current carrying solenoid. Okay, so because of these similarities, right, I can say that this solenoid carrying current, right, behave exactly like a bar magnet.